<sighs> Full disclaimer for anybody complaining about the intro. It is not my fault that Prime One knows how to market their statues better. So if you're if you're questioning why the Prime One section is so long, the XM is gone. It's not my fault. XM, learn how to market your statues better. <laughs> All right, Red Death, about time. Let's go. Welcome to Gotham. Xenobites. Ah, good. A fight. The first rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. The second rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. If this is your first night at Fight Club, you have to. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. We've clicked on Gotham Cenobites. I'm Terry. I'm Lindsay. And this is another statue showdown. Today we're doing Red Death. And spoiler alert, I know Devastator's on a boat right now, but Red Death is my favorite statue by Prime 1 I own right now. So I foresee a goose egg in XM's future. <laughs> We just flip through these pictures. What do, what do you think? Um. Well, what's funny is I saw uh, the gold one, and I was like, "Ooh, I like that one." Thinking it was XM, I was like, "Wait a second. I saw the base. Like, oh, never mind. It's that one. It's front <laughs> one. <laughs> Oops." Um. And while we're on the subject, I want to give a few shout outs. Um, Steve over at the Comics Unleashed. I'll, I'll put tags. Um, I reached out to him in April, and he sent me over pictures of his gold Barry Allen, but um, it's been labeled by Prime 1 as Reverse Red Death. So shout out to him for the pictures we're going to see later. And then I found like, the only place, the only person that had um, pictures of XMs was Batman Statue Collector. So I did kind of take statues from him of the XM um, out of his group, so shout out to him as well. But, oh man. <laughs> I don't know. Ready for another one. I know, I just think people are going to think, why'd y'all do this? This is pointless. But I, it, it's all in good fun. I think it's fun. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't foresee XM getting any points. But one thing I did want to highlight, and we may talk about it again when we get to it. I think they both missed the opportunity for the gold one. Especially when you label it as Reverse Red Death Prime 1. They should have re-engineered it to go the opposite direction. That way, it, it, if it would have... Oh, that's such a good if point. If they would have had to go in the opposite direction, I, I would have had to pause about wanting it. But it being the same exact statue but gold, it was an instant. I don't need it. But it would if, if you look that's at... That's a good idea. Anybody, that a way you can showcase both of them. Any and company that makes a, a flash and reverse flash at the same time, they're always yin and yang. There you go. So I, they both missed an opportunity, in my opinion, to just re-engineer it the opposite way. Especially XM, because you still haven't even <laughs> released yours yet. But, neither here nor there, um, we're going to jump into the picks and um, get this slaughter <laughs> over with. <laughs> okay, so, 
getting into pictures. I'm gonna do uh, do like the kind of keep the community community included in this. So I always take polls, but this one kind of closed a long time ago. I left it open longer than I said I was going to, but yeah, it's still been almost two months since I took the poll down. Anyways, I'm here on the left. You will see that um, Prime One pretty much won on YouTube. There is a few people out there who said both, but the landslide victory was Prime One, and then of course <laughs> Instagram. XM did not get a single vote. So for the community to start off the score, Prime One of course won to nothing. <laughs> And then we'll highlight, I know it's quarter scale versus one third, but these are the prices. Um, I don't think you can find XM anymore, for, or from XM anyway. But the two prices are on the screen, I converted it US dollars. Um, so the US um, regular price was $1,033.69, and if you're a prestige member, um, it's $930. And $930 is, is, is a crazy good deal for this statue. But you do have to probably throw in three or four hundred dollars shipping. The uh, Prime One, um, the Deluxe, thirteen forty nine, the regular twelve ninety nine, and then they only offer one version um, of the Gold, thirteen forty nine. So super sale right now. <laughs> Both of them, if you want to go on Prime One. How many do they uh, make of each of these? You know, I probably should have got that information from um, XM. I want to say they're both below 200. Okay. But, um, yeah, I mean, they were made, Prime Ones were made in the heart of the COVID boom. So I don't have those exact numbers for you. I'll probably find out and put it on screen while we're talking. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, there's there's too many of them. Cause okay. Because they, they, you can still find it at Prime One, all three versions. So as far as I remember, they're all three still available. Okay. But um, getting into concept, um, it's the first uh, topic. And of course, I like Prime One's concept better, but we'll we'll still go through this journey of discussing all of it. But Prime <laughs> One's <clears throat> concept is, of course, you know the, the cover art of his solo book, and um, it's just him running. And at first, when you see the statue, you're like, "Why are the skulls purple?" But it's like it's it's purple on this comic cover. Some of these skulls are so. I don't know, I think Prime One did a very good job taking it right off the cover. And then this is the full 360 view of the statue, and this is probably the only time you're going to see the back of the base, because I don't have any shots of either color, but um, I really love the concept of the Prime One base. Again, it's my favorite Prime One statue I own. Um, if I even had to do a video ranking all the bases, this is still going to be my favorite Prime One base. I forgot that's what it looks like. That's, yeah. that's really cool. Both XM and Prime 1 um, kind of incorporate the Batmobile Cosmic Treadmill in the base. But um, XM's concept, I really just think it's some random pose. But um, this is about the closest thing I could find to it. And yeah. it's a variant of uh, one of his... I don't know, I think it's his comic, comic cover variant. And um, this is their full 360 version. <laughs> so... So we're still looking um, at concept, I'm going to throw on the screen as well, um, just a quick view of the gold versions. Um, XM at announcement um, showed you both versions, Prime 1's I think came a it was year, later, a way year, later, a year and a half after, they threw some gold paint on theirs. I think it was part of their um, 10 year anniversary, so they, I think it was a couple years ago, a year and a half ago, they labeled it 10 year anniversary piece and painted in gold. And um, I do like XM labeling it as version B Barry Allen because it's it's when Barry Allen takes back control of the body he turns gold, but it's one page later he's dead. <laughs> so the gold is one page, maybe two in the comics. So again, if I had to buy the XM, I probably would buy the gold just to have it different. But um, this is the Barry Allen version. So that is concept. And who wins for you? You know, Prime One wins for me. For the concept, I I have to agree with you. I really like. I enjoy. I yeah, I, I like the concept more with Prime One. Uh, most, if not all, of Prime Ones are straight off their solo books. They kind of modified Devastator a little bit because you don't want him looking up 
but yeah, for the most part, straight off the page, I think concept wins. Yeah. yeah. Nothing else. And did that includes the pose? I mean, I mean. It, yeah, I mean, it's, it's yeah, probably it's... if I had to say, he's the most dynamic. Yes. Of all of the Dark Knights, because he's the speedster. Yeah, I. I just... So I think. Yeah, I really, I agree. That one looks fantastic. <laughs> I think the um the the XM is really, I, it looks great. But I, it's, I like Prime One. I have stuff to say, but I'll wait till we get to base. Okay. <laughs> but um, so what is up? Uh, paint and sculpt is up next, and we're looking at some of the pictures of our shots when we first unboxed him. Um, this is kind of I think I got yeah, both both portraits in these, but um, this is some. Um, pictures and this is some close-ups this next slide just showing you yeah I think prime ones I mean XM's paint is a lot better than I thought but I think prime ones paint is uh, second to none <laughs> the paints are, are beautiful on both of them I think um, and for me like it's, it's really hard to judge these like based on pictures alone because they're always you see so much more in person um, but I, the paint is great on both of them. Well, I, yeah, I have no doubt XMs will be better than their pictures in person, but as mm -hmm. far as better than Prime 1... Yeah. <laughs> um, so this first picture we're going to show of, of, of XMs, I'm not judging off I was going to say, if we're judging off of this, <laughs> by far, Prime Again, 1 um, runs away with it. probably going to be the last one we do until XMs versions start to actually be in hand. I did kind of jump the gun with this one because it's not in most collectors' hands yet. So me scouring the internet trying to find pictures, um, I found this. And this is when it was first announced. So I don't know what show this is at, but this is their first concept and it horrible. I'm glad horrible. they changed it. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad they kept, uh, kept at it. Yeah. Um, as you see here, these shots are the prototype that BSC showed. And yeah, just the uh, the paint alone is a lot better. I, I, to me, I don't know, it looks to me like the sculpt was gone back and revised. Or maybe it is just the paint. But the paint makes it look a lot better. It looks a lot better. Um, I, I can already tell, though. I think I prefer Prime 1s. <laughs> of course. <laughs> but this is um, some close-up shots. And I do... And we'll get to it in portraits, but as you see here in the middle, um, they do offer... A uh, what do you just call it? Cowless face portrait. But with what do you these, think about that? It looks good. It looks accurate to the comic. Okay. But with these Dark Knights, it's the reason I didn't buy the DX with um, Merciless. I'm never going to display any of these with their face out. Mm -hmm. So I uh, commend them for including it, but um, not required in my opinion. Especially with all these guys out here doing all these customs, I'm sure I'm sure someone could make one for Prime One. And then I'm gonna show you um, again these are Steve's um, pictures that we're gonna see of the gold one. And this one did come out a lot better than I was expecting. Like, like the gold is really nice. That is shockingly beautiful with the purple skulls. Yeah, this it, it looks really Wow. Good. I can understand people who are like couldn't get the red, but again, the, the start of this, you can still find the red <laughs> almost anywhere. But um, this one is a great alternative. So let me ask you this: Would if this came out around the same time, would you have gotten this no. instead of the red? Because this is actually quite nice. Well, the gold is when Barry Allen takes back control. So this I technically okay. is a good guy, and okay. again, he's only. Two pages. He, he turns good. Next page. I don't remember how exactly he dies, but um, next page he, he's killed. Oh. Okay. And this is not our Barry or our Bruce. This is another multiverse. So I mean, it sucks that they're dead, but it's it's it was a dying multiverse anyway. Okay. But yeah, this is for one page, maybe two. Yeah. And plus, they're all the rest of my line. They're all the villains. This is the gold one's technically a good guy. Okay. But here is some close-ups of it, and he's got. The uh, poster of the print behind his looks oh, really good. Oh, that looks great. And then we're getting into the gold XM. And if you're a fan of the channel, you know whenever they finally start shipping this, Demetrius is going to do a guest review of this version. 
Oh, I can't wait to see that. But to me, I don't like the, the they just they just painted the whole bat gold, the bats and the trail behind them. As where if you look it's at too much. the prime one, it's just the outlines are gold like they did with the red ones. So right. I, I don't know why they just oversprayed the whole gold again. These are prototype pictures. Okay. Maybe it'll be different. I mean, Merciless came out a hundred percent different, and the the, the product. True. So. Okay. But um, yeah, so as far as paint and sculpt, as you look at some close-ups of the gold, and you, this is what I mean, it's all the, the bats are just coated in gold. I don't, know, I don't know why they did that, personally. Yeah, I don't, I don't personally care for that either. Yeah, but um, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a prime one for me. Yeah. So we're already... Five to nothing. <laughs> Alright, next one. Portraits. And we are going to look at all of the red ones, and then of course we'll look at the gold ones too. But these first two are what you get with the exclusive, um, with Prime 1. And I had the regular on order at first. Of course, if you follow the channel, you know the story. I bought books. So I have both of these, and I do enjoy the exclusive, but I am not that person yet. I mean, maybe I can make a drawer here somewhere and have it accessible. But, um, of all of them, I we like have... the regular. I, yeah, the regular is what's on there. But, I mean, the, the deluxe is really good, too. The deluxe is kind of what you see more of in the comics. That that look. Um, those are Prime 1s. These are XMs. Oh, you know what? I do like the veins that they put on the portrait. Yeah, it's definitely um, comic accurate. You see him at the very end of his solo book without his cowl on. But again... That looks great. It looks good, but it's just it's just not necessary. I understand because you wouldn't want to use that, but if, if you were to use a, the port, it, it looks you know, good. face portrait without the cowl, it we, looks great. If we're comparing... Um, regular to regular, I still think to me that the Prime 1 has better portraits, but um, we're going to look the next slide, they're all on there, because there's no um, Bruce portrait with the gold version. So this is the three in gold um, that we're looking at for reverse red death. <laughs> Ooh, what does this center one belong to? This this Prime 1. That's Prime 1? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's the more comic accurate. It's, the, it's oh, okay. what I would call, and you can see it in the red um, if you get up close. It's to me the one in the middle here. Okay. It's more claw like as for the regular is more, I guess you can say like helmet, helmety. Okay. But um, yeah. So for me, I say Prime One wins um, portraits. <laughs> well, the more I stare at it, they're not bad. I mean, the. The eyes really look interesting. They really stand out. But, um... Yeah, it's right there. Yeah, I... I know. I, I think... I actually like the portraits for XM. I don't think they're bad. Oh, man. I'm gonna give them a point. XM with the portraits. I like the portraits. I it's going to be the goose egg. I like that. Disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. They did a good job. I, I even the gold. I think that looks great. Well, hopefully, I mean, we'll start seeing more um, production photos, like mm -hmm. in hand photos. And again, we're not going to do any more until we see some in hand um, XM pictures. But the um, next topic is base best base and of course you've heard me talk about it enough it's my favorite prime it's one it's a great my favorite base. base but um these are some pictures of mine and then um these gold version pictures are pictures of steve sent over and yeah i yeah i'm gonna give it prime one on the base i can i don't uh, like go ahead and write it down yeah i don't like <laughs> xm's base it looks too there's there's a lot going on, which I, you know, some people really, I mean, I don't want it to be plain, but I mean, if you're comparing the two, I think I like the shape. I like the concept of it. Yeah, it's like a flying you know, V. Yeah, it just, it's, <laughs> there's a lot, a lot yeah. of different shapes going into it, whereas this is just. I, mean, I do kind of like, 
the chain they put on onto the XM that we're looking at here, but I mean to me, it, okay, it is it does kind of slightly um, resemble the eighty nine. What is Batmobile. going on here? That I guess that's what I'm confused on. Like I can't really book, tell what's going on in the book. Um, this version of Bruce straps Barry to the Batmobile. There's a cosmic treadmill on the Batmobile, and they, right, he drives into the Speed Force, and that's where they fuse together, and it destroys the Batmobile. So both companies pay homage to the Bat Cosmic tre Treadmill. So okay. So you see um, parts of the Batmobile on both bases. Okay. Well, I mean, I can see there's a part there, but the rest of it kind of looks like well, a muddled... That's why I would kind of say the only thing good to... to me about XM's base is that the Batmobile kind of resembles 89 Keaton's Batmobile. Okay. But yeah, to me... I can see that right here. <laughs> Prime I just... Overall, I feel like this base is a lot more dynamic. Yeah, I mean the whole, the yeah. whole thing. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> All right, so best base. I'm um, like, yeah, I already had mine on there. Okay, mm -hmm. best base goes to Prime One. Definitely. I guess we're getting close to the end here, and some. Um, which I guess which one would you rather own? And of course, I'm gonna go ahead and put Prime One. Yeah, by far, I'd much rather own the Prime One. I mean, if you're going for, it for a space saver, something a little bit smaller, I don't think XM did a bad job. Um, do I prefer the concept? To me, the concept, obviously, in the paint. I mean, everything. I prefer the Prime 1. <laughs> um, but if you need... It's not a bad statue. XM did not do a bad job. Mm. Especially if this is the prototype. You know what I mean? Like, that's actually not bad. But yeah, I mean, and they've been kind of getting some heat lately in the community. Um, I'm, I'm still, I guess, in their corner. Um, the only one I absolutely loathe in XM's metal line is Dawnbreaker, and we'll get there one day. But um, it'd be nice because I mean, they've been giving shipment updates, but they've kind of, to me anyway, these metal pieces are kind of not even referenced anymore. So hmm. I hope that those metal collectors that went XM. Still get all their shit. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Um, but yeah, this I mean, isn't a bad piece. I this don't is think, not at all. Shitting on XM. Um, no, th 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 it's, it's a great far, looking piece. If we by far had the money, I would love. I wouldn't even say the money's the key issue. The space is the key issue. I agree. The space so is a big I issue. I kind of like Prime One from the jump. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. Yeah, XM did a great job, but I do prefer the Prime One personally. Um, so, fantastic job. <laughs> I don't know how we got an odd number, um, but it's ten to one. <laughs> I um, yeah, I didn't expect them to get a single point. Yeah, I think the only one that's going to be hard when we get to it is going to be the drowned. Like Looking rest, forward to that one. The rest, I think, um, will be kind of landslides. But um, yeah, the only one that XM has released, the Prime One hasn't, is Murder Machine. So once the um, Prime One Murder Machine's in hand, we'll be back here for that one. But as for the rest, I'm going to wait. Even though I have all of them, we're going to wait till we get more pictures. So I don't want to go off prototypes or Batman statue collector pictures anymore. I want to wait until we get, you know, in hand pieces. Yeah, I agree. Collectors. So we might not do any more statue showdowns with the metal pieces until, like, Demetrius does that XM review for us so we can have definitive in hand pictures. Yeah, because that's all. I mean. Yeah. That is going to do it for this one. Um, it went almost exactly how I thought it would. <laughs> But then we do appreciate you watching. Um, if you liked the video, hit the like button and uh, subscribe if you want to. Devastator is on the boat, so hopefully within the next couple weeks we'll be doing that. All right. <laughs> but um, it's a big one. Yeah, it's a big <laughs> empty space there now. <laughs> but um, that may be the next video. But regardless of whether it is or not, um, I may do a couple gavels um, before then. But we appreciate you watching, and we will catch you on the next one. All right. Peace. Bye. Thanks.